Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Heels Healer Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. If that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now. So whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. This is a general collective energy read for Wednesday, September the 14th, 2022, all being born to the fabulous energy of 29. So yesterday I kept saying 27, 27. The energy vibration for yesterday was 28 and the culminating energy was 10. So it was really all about bringing in that opportunity for growth and renewal and to prevent from repeating toxic cycles. So I started to add it on the video and then I was like, ah, eh, you know, but I did notice that. I was like, wait a minute. No, definitely. But today's energy is the energy of 29. So that energy breaks down to the fabulous energy of 11. I like 11 energy because 11 energy for me talks about a transition. When you've been in one space and place in your life, and now you're actually transitioning to a new space and place. It's kind of like the, the process of evolution, right? It, it's the process of evolution. So a baby is, you know, a baby isn't born overnight. And there's a process of growth. And that process takes time. The baby is in conception zygote and multiplying and becoming a multi-celled organism, differentiating its sex, developing its vital organs and parts, becoming an individualized entity. And it takes anywhere from 38 to 42 weeks for that process to take place. Well, that's what the 11 energy is like. You've completed a cycle in your old space and place. You've learned all of the valuable lessons that were meant to be learned. And now you're moving in to a new space and place. But through that process, there's a death, a transformation, and a rebirth. And that's the energy of today. It's a transitional period. You may feel out of sorts. You may feel as if though you realize that things just aren't the same. They're not the way they used to be, but they're also unfamiliar territory as well. So you're meant to just go with the flow today. Allow this transition and process to take place. And it is an energy vibration of two. Energy vibration of two talks about choices, talks about opportunities, talks about the energy of duality. It can talk about opposition, but it can also talk about um, the energy of uh, integration. So it can be a coming apart energy or a coming together energy. That is up to you. So let's go ahead and look and see how this energy is coming in for the collective. For Wednesday, February the 14th, 2022. Wednesday, February the 14th, 2022. 14 energy talks about balance, temperance energy, the energy of having grace, poise, patience, moderation, perfect timing, stability. 
and prosperity. Energy of the day for the collective. For February. I don't know why I keep saying February. I stopped the video earlier and I had to restart it because I was saying February. I said February. It's something about February. I'm really feeling Aquarian season for some reason. Oh, okay. Yeah, something about Aquarian season. I keep saying February. February is on my mind for some reason. It could be a birthday, a significant anniversary. I also just heard Valentine's Day. That's the time frame. So something about today is going to come into full culmination. Oh, thank you, Spirit. What I just heard was the transition will be complete by February. We've got a ton of eclipses. Well, not a ton, but we got like two eclipses coming up in October. We're still in the retrograde in Mercury. We still have other planets in retrograde. Things will be shifting and transitioning going into October. And we have a couple of eclipses coming up. New Moon and Libra. And going into Libra season. Where some of this karmic balance comes into play. That's that 11 energy of the scales. Things that were once hidden or unsaid will be coming to the light. We're going to take a look at what opportunities are coming in for you today. Actions that you should take and potential outcomes. Ooh, I like it. Queen of Cups energy coming into one's own. I like Queen of Cups energy because not only is the Queen of Cups nurturing and loving and supportive, but this is an internal energy. Queens for me are all about internal energy, caring and loving for self. King energy is all about external energy, expressions of oneself. I'm really feeling this queen energy is asking you to just nurture and love yourself through the process. I'm also getting the energy of having patience with yourself. Realizing that everything isn't going to just transform overnight. It's going to be a process. Trust in your own innate abilities. There's also a very highly spiritual and intuitive energy that's coming through here. Wish fulfillment is also coming through here. I'm definitely seeing some accomplishments and some successes from some seeds that you've recently sown are coming into fruition. I'm getting the fish energy. It could definitely be maybe even paternity. It could be a childbirth in February, Aquarian energy coming through. This is cancer energy because it talks about the mother and I'm getting that mother energy coming through here. This could be someone that you're meeting. A spiritual counselor or a leader, a therapist, someone that's going to help you through an emotional process. Or this could just be you stepping into that emotional confidence, emotional maturity, compassion, and love. But I'm really feeling this as love for self, nurturing oneself. This is also cleansing energy and renewal, detoxing. I just heard spiritual bath. Especially doing a spiritual bath, you know, full moon energy is a really good energy for releasing. But then also as we're getting ready to go into the new moon in Libra, spiritual bath energy is also still significant. You can take a spiritual bath at any time. When you do it with the moon energy, it magnifies it. But you can still do it at any time. You can even do it on the new moon. You know, full moon, new moon energy magnetizes it, but you can do it at any time especially as a preparation for moon energy opportunities to take hermit energy yeah this is an energy that just says follow your gut follow your inner knowing stay true to yourself with that Virgo energy, it's coming through again with the energy of isolation, um, withdrawal, rejuvenation, healing of oneself, taking some independent time, being alone. I'm getting a little R&R. &R. For some reason, I'm also getting the energy of like a vacation, a little bit of an early fall vacation, taking some time for yourself, <laughs> maybe even up north. Adirondacks. 
I'm getting like somewhere where the leaves are changing color. Fall energy coming through. Having this deep soul searching, taking this time to meditate and to open up your third eye is what I just heard. Third eye energy coming through here. This is also an energy that talks about just how spiritually powerful you are. If you've been doubting your spiritual gifts or your capabilities, this is definitely saying that these energies are coming online. I have this book. Let me see if I got it right here. I love this book. I read this book a long time ago. And I bet you it's not in this. It's probably in my other bookshelf. But the name of the book is All Women Are Psychic. And I remember I first read this book, I don't know, 25 years ago. All Women Are Psychic. And I love this book because it really talks about how we all, and not only women, but how we definitely all have um, spiritual gifts. We all have an intuition. Some of us call it a psychic sense. Some of us just call it an inner knowing, gut feeling, intuition. Yeah, I think it's on my other, on my other bookshelf. But it is called All Women Are Psychic. And that doesn't exclude men. But the book, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because you may have been realizing that you are becoming more intuitive. Uh, maybe it's just even something as simple as synchronicities, something as simple as following the astrology, having an inner knowing, experimenting with tarot cards yourself. Healed Healer Tarot is an interactive tarot. You can pull this spread for yourself, pull out your own secondary deck, and clarify, you know. Do some meditation, ask Source Energy to open up for you, and say, you know, what does this hermit energy mean for me? And then pull a few cards. I like to say pull one for knowledge, pull two for wisdom, and per pull the third one for understanding. It gives you a process of events. What's the primary th purpose or the um, reason or the meaning? What has culminated? What actions? What things have been done to bring forth that outcome? And so you can clarify the energies so that you can get a more deeper meaning for what that reading is for you. We're all under the same energies. We're just moving through those energies differently based on our level of vibration and also based on where we are upon our own individual journeys. So let's pull some. I want to know what's going on with this Hermit energy for the collective. Look at that temperance. You can't make it up. Today's the 14th day. Having balance, doing things in moderation. This is earth angel energy. Somebody here is very highly spiritual. Earth angel energy. It's resonating completely with the agenda of what we're all doing at this time. Working to raise the elevation of the collective consciousness. Moving towards a new paradigm. Moving towards a new earth. One that is more community and compassion oriented. I'm getting Aquarian energy, which talks about community, higher levels of science, higher levels of technology, shared resources is what I'm hearing. But then that Virgo energy talks about putting in the work, doing the work, being clear on your journey and on your path, stepping into your purpose with this hermit energy because you're being called to step into your greatness. And how this energy is coming through at the bottom of the deck. Fulfillment, happiness, joy, blessings. This is a double energy of healing. We have healing, healing. Temperance energy also talks about healing. I love it. What is the potential outcome? There you go. You have the energy of five of swords. This is coming in as the energy of self-sabotage. This could be the energy of not believing oneself. It talks about an energy of insecurity. It also talks about an energy of jealousy. If you left someone, Virgo energy, 
um, temperance energy, um, Scorpio, Cancer, is how this energy is coming through. If you separated yourself from someone, Eight of Cups to me talks about answering that spiritual call, moving towards a higher meaning and purpose in life. The Eight of Cups oftentimes, yeah, you got Three of Cups energy. Eight of Cups oftentimes, especially for me, this is exploring one's muse, you know, exploring your passions, exploring your dreams and desires. It's also creating something, doing something that has never been done before. This is an energy of getting to know oneself more fully, more deeply, rising to the occasion. This is an energy of interest and exploration. But it also talks to me about living your best life. The Page of Wands is an energy that is spontaneous. It's an energy that's fun, loving, carefree, takes risks, lives without fear, ambitious. <laughs> I love it. A lot of ambition energy coming through. This could be, could, I'm feel, I don't know why, and even though we know energy moves from right to left, this could be a situation in which there was, you know, threes, two's company, threes a crowd. There was a lot of competition and bitterness here. There was a lot of jealousy. There were a lot of secrets is what I just heard as well. It require it it forced someone to decide to go in a different direction, to go within, to begin to love themselves, to nurture themselves, to cherish themselves, to follow what resonated with them, to explore life on their own terms, and to be unapologetically themselves. This is authenticity energy coming out, and whatever was left behind is still sitting in this energy of chaos, confusion, manipulation. There is no happiness in community with this Five of Swords. This could be people talking about you, gossiping. I'm getting the energy of gossip. People may be gossiping about you because they don't know what you're doing. Because you've been behind the scenes, keeping things to yourself. There you go. Now you got the energy of the Six of Cups. This is definitely an energy from someone from your past. Someone that you may have grown up with. Childhood friend. This could definitely be friends. Friends or a social group are jealous. This is jealousy and a friendship or a social group as well. As you're working on mastering your spiritual gifts and abilities. Yeah. Working on mastering your psychic sense. Working on creating a spiritual business or spiritual endeavor. Awakening to the energy of who you are. Lots of intuitive energy here. But then there's someone here who's watching. Taking notes. A lot of deception energy here. This is someone that you moved away from because they didn't want to play fair. Energy wasn't reciprocated. Here we go with another three. This is almost like somebody who's living two lives or trying to take care of multiple households and keeping things in secret. Four of Cups energy. Now they're abandoned and left out in the cold. Yeah, Five of Cups crying over spilled milk. Loss of someone that was true and loyal and dedicated. So this is that transition, right? This is kind of resonating with some of the energy that we were looking at earlier in the week. You answered a call to move towards your higher good. Your spiritual gifts are coming online. Your intuition is on fleek. And it's because you've been doing the deep soul work. You've been going within. 
following the journaling prompts, writing down your thoughts, meditating, praying, keeping to yourself, staying in a high vibrational energy. And whatever this conflict was, this gossip, this jealousy, haters, third party situations is a thing of the past. Moving towards complete wish fulfillment, the eight of cups to the nine of cups. That has been your energy of the day, beautiful soul. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. It is truly always an honor and i am so grateful if you haven't already done so what are you waiting for hit that like button share these videos with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe become a part of the soul joiner family where we learn grow and expand together we're going to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time and that unique soul is you until our soul pass cross again soul joiners i am wishing you love Peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant day. Namaste.